Dan Walker, 45, took to Twitter and offered his support to Hugh Edwards, 61, for his exemplary coverage of Queen Elizabeth II as she makes her final journey to Windsor Castle for her burial. Earlier, a funeral service was held at Westminster Abbey, the building in which the Queen was married and crowned Britain and the Commonwealth's monarch. Hugh, the broadcaster who broke the news of Her Majesty's passing to millions of BBC viewers, shortly after 6. 30 p.m. on Thursday, September 8, has been an almost constant presence on screen after her death. He has fronted coverage for many of the events over the 10 days since the public mourned the death of Her Majesty. Taking to the micro-blogging site today, Dan praised the broadcaster's flawless delivery despite the pressures of being live on air. He told his 774,000 followers, when every word matters, when every mistake is magnified and scrutinized, when permanently finding the right tone is almost impossible to navigate. This fella has played a blinder. Well played Hugh Edwards. Exceptional stuff at the Ahu Edwards. He added the hashtags, hashtag funeral hashtag queen's funeral. Viewers flocked to comment on the post as many agreed with Dan, as they praised the BBC veteran. Twitter user, at Beetle Shimbo tweeted, agreed, and think most news coverage has been exceptionally good. Well done at Thehu Edwards but also to at Clive Mariabk at Sophia Raworth at Jane Hill News at Dermot Murnahan and at Bgshan Lay. And a special mention to the legend that is at Giles Spawn. Great work all of you. Thank you. At B. Westwood commented, he has been absolutely phenomenal. Different class. At Andy Pend, you was impeccable. However, Personally, I think everyone BBC, ITV etc. plus radio and all the behind-the-scenes people, cameramen slash ladies slash people should be applauded. It's been emotional. At Rebecca Morris agreed, Hugh, or I should say Sir Hugh. You are the legend of our country, that has carried us through this sad period. No matter how hard the message was that you delivered, you did it with composure and compassion. Thank you 20. Rod Stewart's wife Penny spotted working as a cop at Queen's Funeral latest peep show star Sophie Winkleman confuses fans at Queen's Funeral pictures Stacey Solomon breaks silence on Queen's Funeral after slamming Royals Royals, he was absolutely brilliant as were all the BBC presenters. Mr. Edwards though is just the ultimate professional, stated at Peterg. At Mr. OJM added, he is majestic. Bravo Hugh. You have been the voice of the nation during this time of mourning. Stunning. Meanwhile, Hugh was back on the BBC on Sunday evening as the nation fell silent for a minute in memory of Her Majesty. On the eve of her funeral the broadcaster seemingly made a very thinly veiled dig at stars who hadn't queued up with the public to get into Westminster Hall, unlike David Beckham and Susanna Reid, with the football icon and GMB host both waiting in line for hours on end. As millions tuned in at home and cameras rolled, you remarked, there have been quite a few familiar faces in the queue for that lying in state. We did of course see a certain David Beckham there on Friday. He was widely praised for queuing for hours and hours, not jumping the queue because he's a superstar VIP, no he was in the queue for many hours. Good for him. This morning has now denied any wrongdoing on their part, after a spokesperson had already claimed they didn't actually file past the Queen's coffin. The statement from this morning reads, Hello everyone, we'd like to clarify something. We asked Philip and Holly to be part of a film for this Tuesday's program. 
they did not jump the queue, have VIP access or file past the Queen lying in state, but instead were there in a professional capacity as part of the world's media to report on the event.